is up, children of the Commonwealth? It's Papa Jellybean. I am back. I'm back with another underground city. Now, you're going to wonder why I made a second one. Well, the first one I did, Forgotten City, I had a lot of requests that I'd go in and delete everything so that they could decorate it on their own. Well, that takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of complicated things have to be done in order to do that. So, I decided I'll make a second underground city. This time, undecorated, so that the player can go in and add their own little personal furniture and lights and everything. Any mods that you prefer that you'd like to decorate the city with. So today, we're going to be looking at Paradise Lost. Now, we'll just quickly bring up the map and show you exactly where we are. So we're right here. And, well, I kind of picked a bad location. I got attacked by a whole crap load of gunners. <laughs> but anyways... That's where we are. We're just outside the Quincy Ruins. So without further ado, let's get inside and take a good look at it, shall we? So, so here we are. We're inside. And this is like a little guard area that you have to pass through. And like I said, everything is undecorated. I did do some decorating for myself so I could test the mod and also show you that it does do work. So over here we have the caravans, and of course there's Cricket. So the caravanners have their own little area here. Put in a church. So you have a church. Proper diner. So we're just going to step in here to the diner. And as you can see, I do have someone already assigned to the counter there. And then over here, what, what I tried to do problem? with this was kind of... Like a little Maybe detention we'll center. Because yeah, I know a lot of people request like a prisoner then. So down here you could probably use it for offices. Put your different offices in here. And then what we have up here is two floors of cells. So like I said, I kind of gave it the impression of being a um, detention center. But then again, like I said, this is undecorated. It is up to the player to do what they want. You know, whatever you guys decide. This here is a hospital. Now, up there, you're going to see all those windows. What I was thinking, this is what I'm going to be doing. Because I am going to be decorating this. I haven't decided whether I'll release a decorated version. But for now, it's going to be undecorated. And what I thought about up here is what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to make like a little caf hospital cafeteria. So then, yeah, and you know me, I don't make small mods. <laughs> I've tried, but I just, you know, I just can't make small mods. And then what else I've done here is we got this great five-story hotel. So there is a lot of rooms. And then when you get to the third floor, it tapers off to only four rooms per floor. But what I've done is over here is a little sitting area. So I tried to, with this being in an undecorated settlement, I thought, you know, I'd go that extra mile and make it a little bit more special. Give the player a chance to, you know, really have, get into it, have some places that they can make their own, do what they would like to do with it. Just go crazy. Now over here, I've set this up as the crafting hall. And this is where you're going to find your workbench. So your workbench will be in here. And then I put in some houses, just, just like uh, six small little houses, you know, nothing really fancy. I tried to make um, use of the windows as best I could. Now, another thing that uh, people have said is, my layouts are always the same. Yeah, they're tied and tested in it. So I tried to do something different. 
Okay, here's the vendor shack. Now, what I've done is I've recessed the window so there is like a little patio. And then when you go in, you have your stores in that. But the other thing I also did, just to try to make them a little bit more different, is here on this floor here. I opened this up. So like a rooftop patio. So all the vendors stations or whatever you'd like to use them for, we'll have this kind of little like patio area. So these are, there's two here and then there's two over there. So they're coming back from working on the plants. And this is the greenhouse. I kind of did something a little different with the greenhouse. There's four sections to the greenhouse, and I've connected all the greenhouse with all these different little windows. I mean, like sections for doors, and, you know. And then I did put in a water plant, so you do have your water plant here. I changed it so it does produce a thousand uh, water. Now I'm going to be using this section here as the bar. And what I've done again is I put out a little patio. So what I've tried to do is set up like little patio areas. So for me, this is going to be a bar. And then of course, <laughs> I had to put a swimming pool. As anybody knows, I always put in a swimming pool. And then we go over here. What I did, someone mentioned in that Forgotten City that it was all concrete. It was it was hard on the poor Brahmin's feet. So what I've done is I've set up this little area here. So not only do you have the greenhouse, you have this little area for all your little farm animals. So yes, it is another underground city, but I did do the best I could at making it different. It is undecorated. Um, so that the player can go do at their leisure they could make the buildings the way they want with the furniture they'd like because i know there is a lot of furniture mods out there so ladies and gentlemen that is paradise lost undecorated if you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up the algorithm will love you i love you everyone will love you don't forget to smash that subscribe button move your mouse a little to the right and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every day i upload a video and always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to meet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for watching.